Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to solve equations with fractions using the addition, subtraction, and division properties of equality. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. We want to solve a minus 5 ninths equals a negative 8 ninths. Now, like solving any equation, we want to get our variable by itself. So if I want to get a by itself, I have to move the 5 ninths to the right. So I'm going to rewrite part of this, a minus a 5 ninths. But I know I can add one, part, one thing to the, one side of the equation if I also add it to the other using the addition property of equality. If I add a 5 ninths to both sides, right there, if I add a 5 ninths to both sides, the left hand side is going to cancel because negative 5 ninths plus a positive 5 ninths cancels, and I have a by itself. Now, we already have a common denominator between these two numbers, two fractions. So 9 stays down here, and negative 8 plus a 5 comes out to be a negative 3. Now, can we simplify negative 3 over 9? Yes, 3 goes into both of them. 3 divided by 3 is a 1, 9 divided by 3 is a 3. So a negative 1 third here as our answer. Now, we've got to check that. To check it, we're going to take our original equation, a minus a 5 ninths equals a negative 8 ninths. We want to plug in our negative 1 third in for a. Negative 1 third minus a 5 ninths equals a negative 8 ninths. Well, to subtract fractions, we have to have a common denominator. 3 turns into a 9 if you multiply it by 3, so let's do that to the numerator. Negative 1 times 3 is a negative 3 over 3 times 3 is a 9, minus a 5 ninths equals a negative 8 ninths. From there, well, I'm subtracting fractions, or I can add the negative. I prefer that. 9 is the denominator. Keep the 9 down here. And negative 3 plus negative 5 is a negative 8. And negative 8 ninths clearly equals a negative 8 ninths. Our, we're good. Our check was true, meaning our solution to our equation is confirmed to be a equals a negative 1 third. I hope you learned something here on how to solve equations with fractions using the addition, subtraction, and division properties of quality. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.